in here, hit that quick point of dominance, then I could shift my body to this corner and get ready on the next problem, reposition myself. Thinking one problem at a time, right? All right, let me just attack this problem. Boom, fast seals, next problem. Now, if I were to do a little something like that, somebody knows I might be in here, and they open the door, I'm at a really advantageous position to assess who they are and what's going on, you know? Because I'm not gonna be the first thing they see. Where if I'm right there, I probably would be. You could do what we like to call hasty entry technique. So I'm still gonna use the door as concealment. It's not cover, but it's still concealment so somebody on the inside can't see who I am or what I'm doing. So in that instance, I actually might wanna to come to this side, enter, now I've cleared this corner, right? right? And I can engage, like we train all that one-handed pistol shooting if I needed to. Right. Now, what's left? Just everything past this section. So I can shift focus to where I'm going and then clear out. So we're trying to go a little quicker. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, yeah, so I'm using this as concealment. It's not cover, but at least I can get into the room with some haste and clear it with my eyes and my muzzle. Then yeah, now I just set up another point of domination. Boom, next problem is that room. We'll get after it. To maintain the noise discipline, to not screw around with this door, also it's good concealment. Ended up coming through here, clear, distance to the next problem, clear, and instead of screwing around with the door, gain some awareness and then step through like that. <laughs> 